So what some Marvel fans thought wasn't possible, isn't possible, could never be possible, turns out could actually be possible. And we are talking about old Marvel characters from the Marvel Cinematic Universe who are no longer there coming back and not as variants in a different universe, although that is definitely possible. But today we are talking about them returning for good in a main Marvel Cinematic Universe. So yes, we are talking about Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, talking about the possibility of them returning. This is coming from a new report from a very credible source. Many of you might have heard by now about the book MCU, The Reign of Marvel Studios, written by Joanna Robinson, Dave Gonzalez, and Gavin Edwards. And according to Joanna Robinson, she says that Kevin Feige could bring back people who you thought were gone forever. Speaking about characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, of course. Here's the deal though, this isn't just going to happen in the MCU that we have right now and currently know, but this is all going to come after Avengers Secret Wars and after the soft reboot of the MCU. Now we've been talking about the possibility of a reboot for a little while now, and now it seems like it's all but confirmed, especially with Joanna Robinson, the author of MCU, The Reign of Marvel Studios, speaking out about what she heard from Kevin Feige. Recently she was interviewed on a podcast called The watch. She was being interviewed for the book, of course, and she said this on the interview, and I quote, we have a quote from Kevin Feige sort of implying that like Secret Wars will serve as a soft reboot in which they can prune everything. That's not to use a Loki-ism, prune everything that's not working and just keep what is working or bring back people you thought were gone Forever. Now we have an idea of how this is actually going to happen, but first let's talk about what some other insiders have said in regards to the reboot as well, because many are actually saying the same thing. Insiders, my time to shine hello, and can we get some toast tweeted about Deadpool 3 and a soft reboot last month. Can we get some toast specifically said this, yes, Hugh Jackman won't be recast until after Avengers Secret Wars. Feige is making Secret Wars the send-off to not only the current MCU, but all the Marvel movies that came before Iron Man. It's the ultimate soft reboot to make way for something all new and all different. And they included a picture of a bunch of different Marvel heroes that states on top all new, all different. With Iron Man at the front, with Falcon there, with Captain America there, Black Panther, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man. We won't dig too deep into the picture, but Iron Man is at the front. And now we have Joanna Robinson stating that Kevin Feige could have intentions to bring back people that we thought were gone forever. And really only a handful of people come to mind when we think about bringing back people who we thought were gone forever. Iron Man, Black Widow, Captain America. Now, why would Marvel Studios do this? Well, it is worth noting that in the book, MCU, The Reign of Marvel Studios, they did note that Kevin Feige had plans for after Avengers Endgame to sort of replace the main characters of the MCU because they knew Black Widow, Iron Man, and Captain America were leaving, and this was their plan to replace them. They were going to make Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel the new faces of the MCU. However, that came with a lot of problems. In regards to Spider-Man, they ran into the whole Sony contract ordeal. And for a while, we did not know if Spider-Man was going to stick around in the MCU. Then with Black Panther, of course, the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. And with Captain Marvel, well, we all know the hate that Captain Marvel and Brie Larson gets. So all of a sudden, Marvel Studios had a plan that no longer was a very good plan and couldn't actually be executed due to the unfortunate events that happened. And going forward in the MCU right now, there isn't really a face associated with it. You can't say there's one main character of the MCU right now. You could argue Doctor Strange or you could argue Loki, but for the most part, everything's been pretty separated. But with a reboot, coming, that changes things because that essentially lets you start from ground zero. And you can do this in a way that actually does work. And it works because of the story of Avengers Secret Wars, and essentially the story of the entire multiverse saga. Our main Marvel Cinematic Universe that we've known from the very start since Tony Stark became Iron Man in 2008, our 616 universe, as we call it, is going to be destroyed. 
it's going to die, it's going to be wiped out, whatever you want to call it, it seems like the destruction and the end of it is getting closer as we get closer to Avengers Secret Wars. And here's how we believe it's going to happen. Based off of what we've heard about Deadpool 3, a major plot point of that film is going to be the TVA monitoring the multiverse, realizing that all of these universes are being destroyed and them starting to intervene. And the way they're going to intervene is what we've been talking about a lot on the channel recently, and that is by them going into these universes and taking heroes from them, saving them, and bringing them to another universe, a stable universe, possibly even at the TVA itself. We know there's a huge city in the TVA that we have not explored yet, but bottom line, the TVA is going to be going across the multiverse, saving a bunch of different heroes, and eventually those heroes are going to be kind of the heroes that we see in Avengers Secret Wars. This will consist of heroes from our main Earth 616 universe, maybe the 838 universe that we saw, and of course, one of the big ones is the Fox X-Men universe. Keep in mind, we've been told Deadpool 3 leads directly into Avengers Secret Wars, not into King Dynasty, but Secret Wars. But the big question is, what happens after Secret Wars? If all of these universes have been destroyed, how do they proceed from there? Well, it kind of sounds like the option is to pick a new universe that hasn't been destroyed and kind of put everybody in it. Or if there are a few universes that haven't been destroyed, spread out the heroes throughout a few different universes. Either way, it's a new universe to us the viewers, and it's a new universe to the people who come from our 616 universe. And from there, basically anything is possible. You can go into that universe and it could pretty much be an exact replica with a few minor changes of the universe that we've known and loved since 2008. Robert Downey Jr. could be Iron Man in that universe, or they could go into that universe prior to Tony Stark becoming Iron Man. They could actually appear in the early 1900s, or the late 1900s, or the early 2000s, or perhaps perhaps maybe even in the future. The point being, anything is literally possible, including the return of Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, and Chris Evans as Captain America. The only question is, will the actors actually want to do this? And there could be appeal for some. A lot of people have argued that outside of their Marvel roles, some of the Marvel actors haven't went on to do much more. Nothing as big, nothing as great, which Avengers Endgame was the biggest movie of all time at the time before Avatar re-released in theaters. So of course, nothing's really ever going to be bigger than that. But would the actors want to return? to the MCU. Well, we all know how good Kevin Feige is at his job and coming up with very creative stories. And we also know that money can change things. So Kevin Feige and Marvel have the ideas and the money to throw at these actors. The only question is, will it be enough money and can he be persuasive enough to convince one, two, or all of them to return and essentially start over. So in the beginning, when I said they wouldn't actually be variants, I guess I was a little off there. They would be variants since we would be in another universe, but they're not variants that would just come in for a quick cameo. They would stay. This would be for another multiple many years, which is also another consideration for the actors. Would they want to devote another five to 10 years playing the same role? Although the roles would be slightly different and they could make things different in this other universe. So the roles could be quite fun. Also, just want to add that this is kind of a good opportunity with a soft reboot for Marvel Studios to actually recast T'Challa. I know a lot of people have wished that they would have just recast him right away, but I think we all understand where Marvel was coming from with trying to be considerate of Chadwick Boseman's death, whether it was the right call or not, we understand what they were trying to do. However, with a reboot, this gives them a completely new opportunity to simply recast him, bring a new T'Challa into the MCU. It's also worth noting that this is indeed going to be a soft reboot and not everything that we know, not every one that we know from our universe is going to go away. Essentially, Kevin Kevin Feige can pick and choose, or like Joanna Robinson said, prune everything that's not working and just keep what is working. So quite honestly, there's a lot of really great potential here that could come with a soft reboot of Avengers Secret Wars. But go ahead and let us know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Do you think it would be a good idea or a bad idea to bring back some of the original Avengers? And do you think the actors, Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, would want to return? Let us know all of your thoughts about this down below. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. Winner picks one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.